so welcome back now in the last video we have talked about how to use partition how to use filter and then how to create a complex object right now what we'll do now in this video is we'll, we'll, we'll be working with tuples or tuples we can say so what exactly tuples are so let's say you have uh, so when you when you run a partition so it is dividing the list into two parts right the first part is so this I mean the first part will have two elements which is uh, 40 I and mean, 60 and 80 which are satisfying the condition and then last two which is 40 and 50 they are not satisfying satisfy the condition right so again so we have two partition I mean we have two parts here part one and part two so so this is so normally what happens is when you work with a method it returns only one value right but in Scala we can return multiple values and those values are called as tuples or tuples or whatever whatever you can prefer, you can call it okay so it is normally referred as tuples or tuples. I don't know how you pronounce it. Let's say tuples. I will use the term tuples here. Okay. So it is returning a tuple to you, right? Because you're not getting one value. You're getting two values, two lists. Now, how do you fetch one list out of it? I don't want the second value. I want only the first list. So I, I want only the first list here from here to here. So how we can do that is we'll say val. So we'll say val part one equal to so that again we can use any name there so we'll say part one parts dot now how do you fetch the first value now we cannot use index numbers here so we, tuples doesn't support index number but we can use underscore one underscore one means the first part of it and if you say enter uh, it should give you the value hopefully yes yeah. so you got the value which is 80 and 60 because you have we are fetching the first part of tuple we can fetch the second part also we can say part 2 equal to parts dot underscore 2 so it will return the second part of tuple which is uh, which is this right which is 40 and Navin and Mohini 50 now we cannot uh, we cannot do uh, we cannot use something in this way normally we, we do it in list we cannot do that here this will not work because in tuples we, we need to use the syntax as underscore 1 okay that's how you get the value right so this is one way so if you're not if you're not comfortable with this underscore one I mean even I'm not comfortable with that there are lots of people they're not comfortable what we can simply do is here all here itself we can say part one comma part two instead of doing this later we can simply say part one part two so we are defining two things here which is part one and part two uh, in fact no no we do we don't have to use parts here we just simply say well part one and part two so the first part if I try if I try to print the first in fact it is done here let me try to print the first value uh, let me say part one and you can see if I say part one why I'm using space there is it working okay if you can see that we got the output of output for part one and now if I say this is part two it will print the value for part two so that's how you can use tuples or tuples in in, in Scala so that's it that's about this video See you in the next part.